So, you are wondering what you should take as solution for MS Project? You can find it online or you can find it as a desktop solution. It's what we are going to look at right now and I'm Christian from Vision 6D. There are several versions and they are all compatible together. That you are a team member, that you are a project manager or that you want to have an enterprise view, you will find on the online solution different products. Project Online with their project plan 1, 3 and 5 is a cloud-based solution. With the cloud-based solution, you can share data within your team. You can also share data with suppliers or with customers. That's why you have different kinds of licenses for team members, for project managers, or if you are running a project management office at the level of the enterprise. As a team member, you will use Project Plan 1. And for this, what you want to do is to be able to see the planning, to use task lists, to update the schedule, for example. With the timeline, you will be able to understand the dates of the project. You will also want to communicate with other team members and with stakeholders of the project. As a project manager, you will do the same things as your team members. That is to say that you will get the subscription with all what is included for the team members and you will get additional features. The project manager is the one assigning the resources to the project. He is also the one submitting the timesheets for the project to have the follow-up and the tracking of the project. Reporting and communicating through reports is an important part of the work of a project manager. For this, you have reporting tools available with MS Project and you will also have a tool which will enable you to create roadmaps. For project managers, you have the possibility to have MS Project installed on your PC. That's why you see that you can have the desktop version. When you work at the enterprise level, it means that you want to have an overview on all projects running in the enterprise. For this, you have access to what is called the Project Management Office, which is a solution that gives you an overview on all those projects. And for this, you will need an enterprise level license. With that level of license, of course, you have access of all the team members' functions as well as the ones from the project manager. Additionally, you will be able to manage demands, see how it is going with all the projects and what you are doing is managing a portfolio of projects for the enterprise. It's with that level of license that you will be able to handle the issue of resources allocation between projects. You will be able to see resources conflicts at the level of different projects. Those licenses are per user and the price is per month per user. With the versions before 2019, that is to say 2016, 2013, you had what was called on-premise software. That is to say, it's the desktop application that you still find in 2019. For this, you can still buy it as an on-premise software. Be aware that the online solution and the on-premise solution, the desktop solution, there are differences between those two softwares and they aren't the same software. The desktop solution comes in two versions, the standard one and the professional one. The professional one has the addition of being able to communicate and exchange data with project server and project online. For example, with project professional, you can manage also agile projects. When you are working with Project Online, the cloud solution, in reality, you are working with Project Server, just that you don't have to install it. 
the on-premise solution where you could want to have in-house project server requires a lot of skills to be able to install and configure it to work with the rest of your IT infrastructure within your company. With that, you've had now an overview of the different possibilities of MS Project Online and the desktop installation, as well as the MS Project server. So, I hope you liked it. It gives you some more insight. And now you can go and grab the different tutorials that I have for you. We are going to extend on that part also about communication between the desktop product and the online server. You like the video, please, this really pleases me. You can sum up, you can comment, share it with your friend. And all what is left to me is to wish you a really great day. Bye-bye.